Hello again and welcome back to my series on Python for Social Networks. In the last video, I started speaking about how to handle data that is stored outside of Python. I spoke specifically about uh, working with data that is stored in an Excel file. In this video, we're going to do something kind of similar, but with data that is stored in an XML file. XML files are files that look kind of like this, data that is structured with a key data tag and different tags that store various metadata. And this allows for very complex and nuanced attributes and relationships and uh, interaction with uh, data. I'm not going to speak at length about how to work with XML files in this video. Instead, I'm going to speak about how to interact with them. And I'm going to show you a couple different ways in which you can interact with the data in an Excel file, because even though there are standardized ways for structuring XML files, people don't always follow these. And as a result, you need to be familiar with how to handle an XML file differently depending on each circumstance. The way in which an XML file is structured is it'll begin with a data tag, and after that data tag, you're going to have your metadata tags. In this case, I am working with the tag of relationship. And I have an open tag here and a close tag right here. And this is going to delineate something right here in between them. And in this case, I have a relationship, Frank and Jeff, and then a second tag that has the data for Tom and Jerry. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take that data, read it in Python using a library called Element Tree, and process it, analyze it, and uh, render it through NetworkX and, and matplotlib to do pretty much exactly what we did in the last video, but with different data structures. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to want to import element tree. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and pip install it. Once you've done that, come back to the video and pick up right here. So you're going to import xml.etree element tree and capital letters are important here as ET capitalized ET. This is the Pythonic way to import XML uh, element tree. Once we do that, just like in our Excel video, we need to create an object that is going to be a specific file, or at least the string of that file. So I'm copying it here I'm going to create this and we are going to use this file. There we go. Wonderful. Now I've created an object that is a string of the sample data that I need to work with, which is the sample data XML file. The next thing I need to do is just like in the past video is I need to create the graph object so that we can actually graph the data that we're going to be extracting. Next, I need to create a names list, just like in the Excel video, so that I can map out uh, the names that I extract. <clears throat> Once I do that, now we're going to get into something a little bit different we're going to have to start working with this Excel data. And to do that, we're going to use these functions here, parse, get root, iter, spell parse correctly, uh, iter, and attrib. And this is going to allow us to actually extract very specific data from our Excel file. So the first thing we need to do, and this is the Pythonic way to do it, is create our actual, uh, our actual object that'll be the XML file parsed out. And to do that, we use the function parse. So tree is going to be the parsed out XML file, and we need to get the root of everything. So we're going to do tree.get root, and we are going to get just the root of that tree object. And this is going to allow us to iterate across different tags. So the tag that I want to iterate across is specifically this relationship tag. So to do that, just like in the Excel video, I'm going to create a for loop. And I'm going to say for item in root dot iter, I'm going to use the iter function to iterate across these. So for each relationship tag, this loop will run and it'll continue through each, uh, through each tag. So what I want to do is I want to create an object. I'm going to create the object REL. This can be anything you want. I'm picking REL because it's the first three letters of relationship. So this is going to be equal to item.text. So let me show you what's happening right here before I modify this. I'm going to simply print off REL. And what this is going to do is it's going to extract the data from our Excel file, XML file. And we have right here two strings, Frank, comma, Jeff, and Tom, comma, Jerry. However, there is something that's problematic here. I need these names separated. Well, there's a great way 
to do this with a built-in Python function of split. And the way in which they are separated is through a comma and a space. So now when I run this script, I should receive a list. And that's what I have here. I have a list. The first item in the list, so item zero, is Frank. And the second one, so item one, is Jeff. And we have the same thing for the Tom and Jerry um, relationship as well. So what I want to do is I want to convert that. I don't have to, but I'm going to do it for consistency. I want to append that data to our names list. And I'm going to do so by converting it to a tuple so that it is stored just as we stored the data before in our Excel video. Again, this isn't necessary, but it's important just for consistency between all these videos. So what I'm going to show you now is what's happening by calling a print function and printing off names. And what we should see is what we see right here, a list of names that are stored as a list of tuples, Frank, comma, Jeff. Now that we have the data structured the way we want to see it structured, we can start mapping it out. And the way we're going to do that is by adding edges from, you guessed it, names, which is going to go to this list and create a list of relationships from these names. And what we want to do is we want to draw that out with the NX draw function. We're going to draw the graph G and we're going to do plot dot show. And we should see four nodes with two edges. And that's precisely what we see here. So that's one way that you can kind of call a specific tag in an XML file is by using this element tree uh, library and using the iter function and all uh, to actually go through and examine a specific tag. Not all XML data is structured the same way, however. Sometimes you will encounter XML data that is structured a little differently. Sometimes there will not be any data stored in here. Let me go ahead and just do this for you right now. Uh, instead, you'll see metadata within a metadata. So you'll have person one is equal to Tom, uh, and you'll see person two is equal to Jeff. And then you'll see person one, let's type this all out, equal to Jerry. And person two is equal to Bob. I know it's not the same names, but it'll work just fine. Now, if we go through and iterate across this, we're going to not really see anything that's useful. And in fact, we get an error. And the reason for that is because we don't have any data between the relationship tag to grab. So the way in which we're going to grab this data now is we're going to specifically look for that specific attribute. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an object. A person one is going to be equal to item dot attribute. And because this is being stored as a list, we need to call the attribute of person one. And we are going to have person two be equal to the item dot attribute person two. And what this attribute uh, expression allows us to do is to call this specific piece of metadata about the relationship. So person one is going to be Tom, person two is going to be Jeff. And what that's going to allow us to do is to create objects from that material. And now all we have to do is names.append. We're going to append it as a tuple, just as we did before. We want to append person one and person two. And now when we run this, we see once again exactly what we should. Two relationships, four nodes. And that's exactly what we see. And just to kind of demonstrate what's happening here, let's go ahead and add our with labels argument. And we can actually see what's going on. And we see Jeff and Tom have a relationship, just as we see up here. And we see Jerry and Bob have a relationship. And just like before, this will work the same way if we want to add a relationship between uh, Jerry and Jeff. So let's go ahead and run that with our new XML file. And we'll see that it's added it in just as we expected. <laughs> it added Jeff a different one because I only gave him one F. So let's add two Fs to make it correct. And now we should see them all connected. There we go. And now we see that Jeff and Jerry function as brokers between Tom and Bob. So that's how you take an XML file, a very rudimentary XML file, and read it in Python, process it through Network X, and then plot it out using matplotlib. And all you really need to do that 
is a basic understanding of these very, very basic functions. And you'll be able to call any data that you can find in an, X, uh, in an XML file. Now, element tree is far more powerful than I've represented here. You can do far more advanced things with it. And I'm going to cover that in an individual series in which I talk about using XML data and processing it and analyzing it within Python. For now, however, this should give you a rudimentary understanding of how to uh, really kind of interrogate an XML file using Python and maybe give you an idea about why you should consider possibly storing that data that you have regarding relationships and social networks as an XML file. And one of the things that makes XML files so useful is the fact that you can add anything you want here. So you can establish a type of relationship, let's say social, and you can add as much metadata as you want. And you can call all that metadata by simply calling a different attribute. And this is going to be very useful when we start working with more complex networks where we want to have this information, where we want to have things like the age of a person, the, the type of relationship between those two people, etc. So for right now, we're not going to do any of this advanced stuff. That's going to be for a later video. What I want you to do is play around with this, um, these commands, these functions, and get a sense for how XML files might work. I recommend sticking with this very simple structure. Uh, just go through and type out what I have. Try different things. Try to create different attributes uh, and try to call those different attributes. Experiment with it and make mistakes. That's the best way to learn. So for right now, do that. And in the next video, I'm going to be talking about how to do kind of something similar, but instead of with XML files or Excel files, JSON files, which is JavaScript uh, object notation. So stick around and we'll have some fun with some JavaScript. Thank you for listening.